managing and monitoring of power platform resource is something that needs to be taken care of hi everyone this is prashant chaudhary i welcome you all to my channel classic power app in this video we'll be discussing how we can manage and monitor the sources that are used by the makers in our tenant using the coe kit coe stand for the center of excellence it's a kit that is freely available you need to just install that kit into your local into your tenant and see how your resource are actually used or how your resource are actually consumed by the users so without wasting any time i'm just telling you how you can install that kit into your tenant so i'm just navigating you to the microsoft doc link see whenever you need to download the coe kit it that coe kit has many tools to install okay so in this video we are focusing on the inventory component of the coe kit okay so here is the you can get the link of this uh, doc in the description of this video so let me just go through with the doc what is that it's simply saying some steps and it's like before you start it will give you to create the connections to it these are the connection that you need to create because uh, coe kit would give you any type of zip file that zip file needs to be import in your into your any, any environment and once you import that solution to your environment at a time it would ask you to for the certain number of connections certain number of uh, environment variables and many more things okay so it is giving you some list of the connection that needs to be asked while importing the this kit okay so these are the connections that needs to be taken care of later on it would ask you to fill some values in the environment variables because that solution that zifal would also having this solution as as a environment variables as well inside it so you need to pass some values inside them and later on you need you can simply import your file okay so it's completely on you whether you uh try to like import this uh, kit into the new environment or to an existing environment so for uh, as per of mine as i try to install that type of feature into the new environment so that only i can give access to only the selected users inside that okay so i have already created one environment coe environment that is the trial type okay in this environment i'm just trying to add this coe kit okay what do you need to do is you need to create all the connections first you can also create the connection while importing it's completely on you so i'll try to create them while importing okay and the these values as well the environment variable values as well so you need to first download this zip file okay once you down when by clicking on this link you can di directly download the link it would download any type of zip file into your system that zip file i can show you that zip file is actually a combined version of all the components of the coe kit you need to first extract that okay once you extract that i can show you i have already extracted that yeah this one inside that you will got different component coe kits okay and all would be in the compressed zip file that you can directly import to your solution okay because it these are actually the managed type of solution okay that needs to be imported into your environment so for the inventory component what we need we need to first uh, just follow the procedures okay uh, so here we have the uh, where are these the procedure you need to first download the zip file we have already downloaded extract the zip file after downloading and then all the stuff import the solution and what we need to do is we need to install this particular file okay center of excellence core component manage zip. okay and that needs to be installed in our environment so let's do it so this one is our file core component because we need to install it in our uh, web solution so we are going with the, this one for the teams you can use this one okay 
so just come here and come to the solution just ignore this one and just try to import that one well here you can see i need to just select this component of mine i open this and i click on the next now as this is a zip file it's a solution so it would give ask you all the connections all the environment variable values everything then after it will import okay so let's wait for a little time meanwhile to that what we also we need to do is we need to create the group as well if you go through with this document you can see we need we need one group this microsoft power platform maker group this group we need to create okay it's completely on you whether you uh, try to create the group from the power platform admin center or from the portal okay so let's okay it's let's click on the next one now so here you can see these are all the connections that needs to be created okay so how you can create this one just click on the new and will directly redirect to the new screen and here you can simply click on this create button pass your credentials and it's created okay refresh this one so here you can see i've created the connection of this one so i need to create the connection of all the things so it would take the this video a little longer so i just pause this and create the all connections of mine okay you can also create the connection at the starting before importing it would make your importing little faster but in order to show you how it is working i just try to make the connection in the while importing okay so i'm just pausing this video and coming back once i get the all the connections ready okay everyone so maximum connections i have done only connection i have left with the, the http with the azure ready because something is written in the doc that for this connection you need to pass this url okay so we simply copy this url and come back here try with the new one and here we need to simply pass these values in the base url also in the application url i'm just passing these values okay create this use my credentials only okay so now all of our connections are ready now click on the next now it's the time to pass the environment variable values okay so we just pass only some values for now the mandatory values okay so first you need to pass the azure tenant id your azure tenant id okay for that thing you need to go to your azure account we go with the azure account and on the azure we just go to the active directories and on the active directory you get your tenant id here okay just copy the tenant id and paste it uh, here okay so i'm just leaving this empty because it is given live empty on the viral import now the power app maker environment variable okay so if i follow the doc it has given some values some predefined values for some variables okay so search what was that it was power app maker environment variable so we search for the power app maker power app maker environment variables and it says to pass this one so we copy this one and pass this one here it is asking you to create some group okay that group should be the microsoft 365 group okay so how you can do this just go to your azure account uh, you can get uh, your group from here as well in the groups just click the new group and type a name let's say it should be the microsoft 365 group okay so please be very clear with that group name let's say coe testing testing group cv testing and other things as well description any owner let's say who's the owner let's say prashant only the owner Prashant. 
and for the members let's say prashant is the member of this group okay so that's how you can create once you're done with that you can create so let's create it let's create the group okay and now search for your group it was coe coe group it was my previous one i can use that as well if it hasn't if it would not come in just one more minute because we have less time okay i'm just using this group okay so we are using this id okay i use i like i created this group the same i have created just uh, just now okay so just pass the id here now involve auto power automate involvement a variable so we go with the doc and we search for the power automate and here we have this okay so just copy this one also it is saying you to pass the uh, what is that geographical location as well but i'm not passing for now now the developers it says leave empty now the community url if you have any so i'm just leaving it empty for now power app player so we come here and search for the power app player so we have this here somewhere we copy this one and in the power app player we pass this one graph url graph url moment variable we search for the graph url and here we have the graph url as well just copy this graph url admin email so i'm just copying my email in the admin email also in the individual admin as well now you can leave these three empty okay so we have filled maximum things now click on the import now it will take a little time okay i'm just pausing this video for now